Did you hear about the logistic company's party? It was all about shipping and handling. Now have you heard about the recent shakeup in the world of logistics? FedEx and the United Postal Service are calling it quits on their long-standing contract, with UPS stepping in to fill the role as USPS's main air cargo supplier. This change, set to take place this summer, marks a significant in the logistics industry. This alteration didn't occur overnight. The timeline of events leading to this decision is a fascinating tale of negotiations, strategic business decisions, and industry dynamics. The agreement for domestic transportation services between FedEx and USPS is set to expire on September 29, 2024. Despite efforts to negotiate a new contract, an agreement could not be reached, prompting the shift towards UPS. But what does this mean for FedEx? Fear not, this industry giant isn't going down without a fight. FedEx plans to use the end of the USPS contract as an opportunity to implement network adjustments that will optimize efficiency and profitability in fiscal year 2025 and beyond. While USPS was a significant customer for FedEx's express segment, the loss will impact density but it's not expected to significantly affect profitability. And remember, even in the logistics industry, when one door closes, another one opens. As long as you have the right tracking number, this recent development follows other significant changes for USPS, such as the controversial decision to purchase new delivery trucks from Oshkosh Defense. The decision faced backlash due to the fact that only 10% of the trucks would be electric, despite the suitability of electric vehicles for USPS routes. However, USPS defended its choice, citing cost concerns and the potential for future electric conversions. So what have we learned from this? First. The logistics industry is an ever-changing landscape, with strategic decisions and negotiations playing a critical role. Second, despite facing significant changes, companies like FedEx view these shifts as opportunities for growth and improvement. Finally, environmental considerations are becoming increasingly important in decision-making processes, even in traditionally risk-averse industries like postal services. These are interesting times in the world of logistics, and we can only wait and watch how these changes will impact the industry in the long run. Stay tuned for more updates on this intriguing saga.